Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Cronall or Catherine back again and I'm here today with a slight little bit of a cold uh, so that's why you can't see what's in my mug but there is a hot whiskey in here which is uh, desperately needed. Um, so I've been a bit under the weather all week so um, if my videos are a little bit scattered <laughs> blame this cold. Um, okay, so this week we're going to have a look at Hollow's holographics, um, some of my favourite holographics. I'm not including the ones from my Desert Island polishes because I didn't really think you'd want to see them again. So um, I'm going to give you some of my other favourites. I think I have 12 or 13 polishes to have a look at and different holographic effects. So whether it, I'm going to go from the chunkiest one I have all the way down to the most... Um, Kind of delicate holographic glitter that I have. All right, so um, just on my nails is this gorgeous blue um, with a gold um, glitter in it, and it is called um, Sansa. Where is it? There it is, Sansa by Zoya. And uh, yeah, it's really, really nice. I have a dupe for this and I recently found another dupe for it. So um, I have to do my long awaited dupes video soon. And this nail is just gone. It's very stressful at the moment at work and different things going on in life. So um, my nails are in terrible condition. But we'll get there. This year is almost over. I'm going to turn on the light and see does that help you see the gold a bit better and hopefully it'll help see the holographic a bit better okay so I'm going to start with my chunkiest one this is um from uh, China Glaze this sit here in two coats but actually I use this as a topper so it's a blue glitter with really chunky holographic glitters in there hex glitters so you can see there in case you don't know what a holographic is it's um a, a glitter that changes in different colors it's different to iridescent um i'll show you an iridescent one now or color shifting let's just have a look here and i'll show you the difference so this is a color shifting one this is from china glaze this s uh, this uh, summer so they look quite similar there let me turn off the light and see if that helps you see the difference a little bit better this um a navier blue um, but actually this is a clear base. This is Moonlight the Night. This is from this year's, uh, I think it was in this year's summer collection. And this one is uh, Can You See Me from a couple of years ago um, from China Glaze. So this is the holographic one that I'm looking at today. This is it here. It's got blue glitters in it. Um, I've never tried to build it up on its own, but you probably could if you wanted to. I think it works really nice as a topper. And all that chunky glitter in there it's a little bit difficult to build up on its own for me I'm not, I don't really like that kind of real chunky chunky effect um, and then this one is very different it looks completely different when you put it on the nail and it's not holographic you'll realize when you oops give me a focus there this changes color I'm just going to use this white here to show you so there it is um, come on my camera is not cooperating today. Are you doing that now? Nope. You want to cooperate today? Ah, there we there we go. Okay, so there it is over white. That's the the new one. So you see, uh, there might be a touch of. It's more of an iridescent. An iridescent kind of changes just to a couple of kind of lighter colors. That's it over white. And this is it over black. So it's much more iridescent. It doesn't have that color shifting property that this does. See the difference? Let's see. So you see the difference there. Okay. So my one that I'm starting with is not Moonlight the Night. It is Can You See Me? So I will talk about Moonlight the Night in another video because I really do like that one. So there you go. It's really glittery, really sparkly lots and lots of good colors and just another one just to see the difference with an iridescent this is an iridescent i thought when i bought this this was holographic but actually you see those lighter colors it's different from the holographic that changes lots of colors all around this is just like um it changes the color from like a pastel to a, a lighter color it doesn't really change 
um, so the bigger glitters in that seem to be more irid iridescent. I could be wrong on that, but I think they're not holographic as such. But this is. So that is Can You See Me? And that's our introduction to holographic, as in a changing colour. I do love holographic stuff. I'm, I'm trying to... I've got my eye on a reindeer with a holographic Christmas tree for our balcony down in the shop down the road. So, hmm, let's see. This is a Desperately Seeking Sequence from OPI. And that's it there. And it is one of my favourite toppers of all time. It has a hex glitter, a... Um, is there a square in here? I always forget. Hex glitter, bar glitter, and circle glitters. Little silver glitters in there as well. This is just a really nice um, topper. Let me just fire on the light here for you guys again. There you go. You can really see the colours there. And this is it. Or black. Here you can see all the different coloured glitters. So that's another chunky, not as, I don't think the hex glitters are as chunky as in Can You See Me? Maybe they are. I think the Can You See Me looks a bit bigger. So that's Desperately Seeking Sequins. Um, this one, next one is another, it's an indie actually. And this is, let's turn off the light so you can see the colour. This is like a mint kind of aqua green base, metallic base. Let's put this on the black here so you can see it. And it has in it lots of greenish glitters, light greenish glitters, but then tons of holographic. And it's really, really chunky and it's just really, really pretty. And this is called Maze of Mirrors and it's from Femme Fatale. Okay, this is the box actually, so there you go. Femme Fatale and it's Maze of Mirrors. And it's just a really, really pretty uh, green gl uh, green glitter metallic with lots of holographic there. Really, really pretty. There you go. See better in the shade. Okay, so um, we've one more chunky kind of glitter left, holographic glitter. And this is a new one to me this summer. This is a purple jellied base. It's from Sinful Colours. Uh, you can't really see it there, but that's Sinful Colours. And it is called I Miss You. And it's got a ton of kind of silver and holographic glitter in this purple uh, jelly base. And here it is on the swatch stick. I started using swatch sticks because I'm trying to um, limit the amount of swatch wheels I have. And also I'm trying to start a, another a different system to um categorizing categorizing organizing my nail polishes i need another sip of whiskey wait mm. it's been a weird week okay so um yeah so there it is it looks like a candy wrapper i think this one it's really really nice and uh, let's see it with the light off yeah so you can see it looks kind of silver and very glossy and shiny and very very nice you will need ch top coat with all those chunky glitters and the top coat will help um bring out the the holographic even more okay this one i got during the summer i've used it a few times already by the way i'm sorry i haven't been on instagram as much this week um just haven't been having a great week <laughs> so um yeah anyway this is you don't want to hear me being depressing and moany this is a glittered holographic from where are you cupcake polish i got this during the summer too and it's called believe and it's just this very kind of light i think like a lavender color or lilac base um and it's really sparkly and really super holographic and there's so much holographic in this that it makes it look like a real chunky linear holographic um but it's just loads and loads of glitter and it's really, really pretty and lovely on the nail in two coats. By the way, the, um, everything except for des Desperately Seeking Sequence is, has been two coats. Um, everything is two coats, actually, that I'm going to show you today, apart from that topper. But this is Believe. Let's turn off so you can see the different effect. So even in the littlest of sunlight, which we don't have very much today, 
you can see the holographic in um, Believe. Uh, it's definitely this just looking at this table this is definitely the strongest holographic on the table it's beautiful you can see the all the shifting color there so pretty okay then we're going to move into kind of a uh, subtle holographic so where you have more color than glitter so the ones i've just shown you are much more if i bring them all over here they're much more glitter than base or even just a topper as in this case um but the ones that i'm about to show you now are more color than um glitter okay picture polish have had a range of these colors out lately um where they just have a beautiful base color and then these kind of some of them this almost looks like a flaky holographic in there and um they just have a, a very very subtle holographic so it looks like it's just a kind of a speckled um color almost white matte glitters or something or white matte flaky micro flakies in there but then when you turn on the light you get hopefully we'll get the glitter uh, maybe not <laughs> doesn't like me today wait now ah here you'll see it in the bottle better so you can just see it's very subtle holographic okay and this is orchid by picture polish and um they are just like knocking it out of the park with these polishes at the moment they've gorgeous a uh, moss one this winter which i really want to try okay the next one i'm going to talk about i'm going to talk about three together they are um Zoya's holographics I think in terms of main street brands mainstream brands I should say they do the best for me they do the best holographics and um, this is one of their old golden oldies this is dream you can see if I turn off the light just a beautiful blue with like what looks like a silver glitter in there silver shimmer but when you turn on the light, you get all that lovely scattered holographic. This is Dream here. Beautiful. And Dream came out with Storm, I think, and Aurora, which was on my um, Desert Island polishes last week. So it's a beautiful blue color. I know this is, I think this is one of Claire's favorites. Um, and you can just see all that lovely holographic. And um, the next two are from this year's fall collection. This is called the Urban Grunge Collection, I think. And the first one is Finlay. And there you see Finlay in two coats. Beautiful, beautiful glitter. And um, this is it without the light. So you get it's much more blue or purple then. One of my favourite all-time polishes. Aurora. This is Aurora here. This is Finlay. Okay, so Zoe's Finlay. And this is Aurora. So if I show it to you on my wheel from last week, um, you see that Aurora actually has a good bit more glitter in it, and Finlay, and it's a much kind of more red purple. Finlay is much more that Cadbury's purple color. Um, I still think Aurora is my favorite, but Finlay is stunning, really, really beautiful, and and I'm really happy to have both of these gorgeous purples from Zoya and I think if you look at it there seems to be more of a purple base in Finlay there seems to be a lot more glitter in Aurora so that is oh, don't fall off that is Finlay and then I think everybody's favorite from the Zoya collection this year um, was this beautiful green holographic and let me turn on the light so you can see it in all its glory it's so pretty this is merida I'm not sure if it was named after the the character from brave the disney movie the little scottish girl but this is merida and it's super sparkly and just a beautiful green color this is going to be perfect for christmas for me i love it so that is merida and definitely a must if you love greens and holographics and um, very nice it's very kind of you don't really see that color green much with a holographic in it and um, so we're back to indies now 
and this indie is um, obviously one of the tops when it comes to holographic this is ilnp and this is from their summer collection this year this is interstellar there's only um two coats on this it could probably do with three i'm going to turn on the off the light so you can get a better look at the color this is a kind of a very purpled blue color it is a blue though it looks like the night sky and it's just stunning it looks like you're looking into the universe doesn't it I love it and the name everything about this polish is just perfect it's gorgeous polish and um yeah it was i think it's for me it's definitely one of my favorite ilmp and uh, it's just a very kind of light uh delicate glitter it's even more delicate i think than the dream so you can see that with dream there it has a drop more purple in there Dream is very blue, but Interstellar has a bit more purple. It's like almost like um, an indigo, I guess, but uh, really, really pretty. Okay. Okay, so uh, the next one, I'm on to my more delicate holographics, and this is um, where indies tend to really shine. I only have one mainstream brand to show you here. Uh, this is um, also from ILNP. And this is their beautiful Deja Vu, which is a lilac holographic polish. And it's a beautiful linear holographic. Now, linear is when the, the color travels kind of like in lines. It's not like scattered, which I can show you here. So linear is when, so scattered the colors all over. But linear, you can see the color kind of moves in one singular kind of wave or line across the bottle there so um <clears throat> this one is um called deja vu linear polishes tend to be um quite translucent and i'll just show you in the light what this is like um but the payoff is so good with these and you can just see how it travels there i think in this one though there is a little bit of a scattered as well but the linear is very very strong so you can see it here. Okay. So that's Deja Vu by ILNP. Okay. And the next one is a mainstream brand. It's definitely the best um, holographic I've seen from a mainstream brand. Now I don't have Zoya's. Um, they have a new one out that's very like this. But this one, I know people went crazy for it when it came out. I think it was early last year. And this is, or late last year, I should say. This is, I always forget where these are. This is on, this is called Space Race. And it's by H&M. Okay. And this is a, it looks silver in this light. I'm going to turn off the light so you can see it. Um, This is a lovely linear holographic as well. Which we're not getting because, I don't know why we're not getting it. But uh, it's just there. Let's see if we can turn on the light and get a little bit more. Maybe we can get it there. Okay, so that is your uh, H&M Space Race. Sorry, my uh, my maximum, uh, my database cut out of me there, my storage limit. But sure, anyway, um, this is uh, Unicornocopia, which is a great name, isn't it? by um, Polish Me Royalty, there you go, who have a holographic sticker on their bottle. So, you know, you're always going to get great holographics from Polish Me Royalty. I should have included more of her stuff, but um, I'll do my favourites, my favourite or my collection of Polish Me Royalty someday when I get a chance. Um, this is Unicornocopia. This is a great topper. So I'm going to show it to you what it looks like if you were to put it over black. This is two coats over um, on the swatch wheel. And it just looks super when it's um, all sparkly and in the sunshine and it's gorgeous. And um, it's very like Fairy Dust by China Glaze, but it, has a, it doesn't have that um, really nasty smell that Fairy Dust has. Um, and I know some people have problems, I think, with Fairy Dust drying. Um, but this one, no problems at all. This is a beautiful, smooth formula. So that is Unicornocopia. And that's the last of my holographic polishes. Um, I'd love to hear what your favourite holographic polishes are. And um, I hope you all have a great weekend or a great day or whatever you're watching this. Take care of yourself. I'm going to go away and drink my hot whiskey. And um, yeah, I hope you don't get any colds this winter. Okay, take care, everybody. Bye.